Searching for Madoka, Misaki finds herself in her own room at Rogetz Hall and discovers a photo of herself as a child alongside a woman with no face. Does this woman have any connection with the girl in black? Misaki feels that if she could only meet this woman, her own past would become clear. My special friend. kind of a, an abrupt cutscene end that did not feel <laughs> like it was supposed to be where that that just cut off uh, it took me a second to unmute my mic I was uh, taking a sip of my drink all right oh so yeah we're playing as Misaki uh, awesome which means we're gonna do a bunch of damage which is sick Callus says, hello, Toaster in chat. Hello, Callus. Welcome. Yeah, as I was saying uh, before I before I started recording, uh, I've been I've been busy. I've been out doing stuff. We uh, brew Keith, Stephanie, Zek and I went to Las Vegas FurCon and it was uh, it was an enjoyable experience. Kind of a. Uh, janky con experience because the con itself was only like five rooms <laughs> but it was held uh at alexis park hotel which is a sort of resort hotel um in the sense that it has pools and a really big like open garden space walkway sort of thing going on with it and so it kind of became just like a cool furry convention where like it was just like a bunch of furries had booked a vacation and we all had like a big pool party. So it was pretty awesome. We did some escape rooms and uh, and played a lot of arcade games. I got to beat up some people in Guilty Gear. Uh, I played a lot of Mai Mai and U Beat, which are my favorite rhythm games. It was a great time. Fur suited for a bit. Misaki Aso treatment notes regarding treatment of Misaki Aso. Patients with high spiritual potential are different from other patients in, their sense of, uh, in that their sense of self is inherently weaker than most. They can also present symptoms of taking on secondary personalities. The rector Haibara feels that in order to find new ways to treat the patient in the special isolation room on the fourth floor, we should try some experimental therapy on Misaki. As a precursor to treating the patient in the isolation room, special procedures are being performed experimentally in the primeval passage, but symptoms are only worsened and the effects are extremely doubtful. Treatment with the apparatus is also having no effect, so it may be necessary to revert to administering medication in order to halt the hopeless advancement of the symptoms. Okay, interesting. So one of the things that's like obviously not great is that the... Uh, the medical facility obviously wants to like take advantage of its patients in order to like learn more about uh, moonlight syndrome and all that stuff but also it does actually kind of seem interested in in solving the problem so well, that's why there's a spooky doll wait what did this not count Ooh, i just wasted good film on that this is totally a, a red red girl doll dang it um, but look at this dress. This is the dress that the lady was wearing, isn't it? Well, environmental clues. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. 
So yeah, I'm I I do not know if I'll have the stamina for it, but I'm gonna try really hard to beat this game today because I am I am ready for it to be over, and I would really like to start streaming pretty much anything else uh, in the week before uh, Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor comes out on Friday, uh, as in one week from now. So that'll be fun. Hopefully we have a good time with that. That's like clearly a diary on the floor. Why can't I pick it up? All right, we probably have to wait for it to become important. Someone's gonna say like, I dropped my, my diary in the hallway and then we're gonna have to come back here to pick it up. Oh yeah, there's that weird floating light switch. <laughs> and this is the room that when we were playing as Ruka, she was just in, I think. So clearly they're here at different times. Furious paintings adorn the wall. They're painted in unusual colors and have an unsettling air about them. Spooky. Ooh, stuck on geometry. Yeah, I'm not really 100% sure where we're supposed to be going. I guess we can make our way to the primeval passage. Chase the girl in black's shadow. Yeah, but like, where'd it go though? I guess it's just out here. This is all the same room. Don't think I took a picture of that one. Can she just not take pictures? From the spooky ghost dolls? I guess not. Anything over here? Clearly something around, we just have to shine a light on it. Shine a light upwards. Nope, okay. Maybe it's on the outside, I don't know. Over here? Nope. All right. Uh, maybe just downstairs on the first floor? Oh, okay, yeah. Good for us. used the key. The button for the fourth floor seems to be working now. Oh, I forgot about that task. All right. Yeah. Oh, spooky ceiling girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oops. I forgot that we can lock onto people. <laughs> Make things a little bit easier for us. There we go. Gonna try to attack me or what? Girl. I wanna get a big ugly fatal frame on you, lady. Stick her out. It should just be one more. Where are you at, lady? There we go. Not bad. We can only pray that the combat encounters will be that simple from here on out. So we're on chapter eight. I think there's chapter. I think there's eleven chapters in the game.
I saw Misaki with that doll again yesterday. Most likely, the patient on the fourth floor gave her own doll to Misaki. Both of them have been diagnosed as having high spiritual potential. Their spiritual senses are heightened, and they're at increased risk of being inhabited. It's dangerous for two such people to be together. When their mental state is good, being together may help them both stay stable, but if one of them becomes unstable, both are at risk of worsening their Moonlight Syndrome. I'm particularly worried about the effect that she and her current state might have on Misaki. Please keep careful watch over Misaki and ensure the two of them do not meet. 412 is the isolation room. Patient is in extremely dangerous condition. Report to the director immediately if she shows any signs of deterioration or becomes agitated. Calling her by name or looking at her face are forbidden, as both can cause her condition to worsen. Bearing in mind the recent death of one of the nurses, staff are advised, for their own safety, to avoid prolonged contact with the patient. If any of the nurses feel their mood or physical condition get worse, they should discontinue duties immediately. The corridor to the isolation room is sealed with a gate, which can be opened by unlocking it from the nurse station. Please note that it is not possible to enter the isolation room with just the master key. Okay. Let me interact with it, damn it. There we go. Oh, okay, there's something in there. I didn't even say open the door game. The least you could do is, like, let me control my character. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, I, that wasn't even the right door anyway. Regarding the woman in the isolation room, it's embarrassing to say this, but I simply can't remember her face. I have an impression that she's quite pretty, but I don't know what her face looks like. I can't remember it. This is unheard of for me. A nurse can usually remember patients' names and faces very easily. She's the only one I can't remember. When I try my hardest to remember her face and focus on it, my pulse quickens and I feel as though I'm losing sight of myself. If feels like my mind is a radio, I think it meant to say it, and someone is playing with the tuning dial. What should I do? Am I really fit to be in charge of the fourth floor? I don't think I'm cut out for this position. Please consider transferring me to another task, I beg you. Yeah. 4467 Nice. All right. It's annoying that they literally give us the clue <laughs> to the door. Like just you could they could have made it a puzzle, like or just not made us have to do this. It doesn't really lend any tangibility to the game or anything. It sounded like some sort of mechanism was triggered. The door seems to have opened. Really uninspired design. I'm just trying to see. There we go. Sacred water. How wonderful. I didn't even need to reach out for that one. <laughs> Misaki and girl in corridor You know all the points really do Is give us currency to buy healing items So we're, we are definitely going to end up Basically immortal by the end of this Why don't you beep her Haven't I told you over and over again That she keeps trying to drag me into her room Come and see her if you don't understand what I'm talking about She's something else now isn't she her face keeps changing and she keeps trying to drag me in. She calls me. She calls me. She calls me. She calls me. 
She calls me. She calls me. This is the nurse that it, I was told, that was probably told to keep me away from her, so. Come on, lady. Give me something to work with. Ah, I pressed the button, but she turned around instead for some reason. I only have two, I should buy more. Ugokanai day. Please don't move. That's what she said. Alright. Ah, I took the picture again and I turned around for some reason. I don't know why. No, put the camera down. <laughs> I definitely need to buy more healing items. There we go. I'll shotgun Filmer. There we go. That was worth it, I guess. In like the car makes sense. I deserve that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, let's run back real quick to third floor so that I can uh, buy some items, huh? Shall we? The fact that the prompts shift, I'm never gonna get used to this. It's gonna kill me. All right. Ah, trade. All right, herbal medicine, heck yes. I'll buy a bunch of this. There we go. Got some more film. Now we'll just go back up to the fourth floor. But yeah, uh, LVFC was good. So we did the escape rooms that we did, uh, that we got the winning times on, were uh, the basement part one and two, uh, or I guess technically part one and three, because they only have the basement and the study um, in Las Vegas as compo uh, compared to the LA location, where they have all four parts. But um, I had done those before, technically. I didn't remember, like, the solutions to the puzzles or anything, but I uh, we were able to get through that really quickly. Um, and then we did, uh, obviously, the study. I was able to, like, we got the top score on that one, uh, which was awesome. I think for the basement, we were number two um, by, like, nine seconds, so... Uh, the other one we did though is we did the it escape room, which was really fun. Uh, just like a really cool little kind of one hour sort of a little bit more railroaded escape room, but it had some fun puzzles and it was really immersive and, and high quality. It was more like a, like Halloween Horror Nights style haunted house, uh, but with escape room elements, it was really cool. I had a, I had a really good time. We ate at a ton of great restaurants. I borrow assistance notes. Regarding the patient in the isolation room, I observed her again today, but I feel her symptoms have reached the point of hopelessness. For someone like her, with such high spiritual potential, Moonlight Syndrome always presents with extremely severe symptoms. She may be the most extreme case yet. Her mind is on the brink of collapse. She's managed to cling feebly to some semblance of sanity by fusing her dolls and herself in her mind. The dolls, each reflecting a different part of herself, may be necessary for her to anchor her fluid and ever-fluctuating state of mind. It may be possible to use this doll transference approach to help the other patients deal with their chaotic memories. However, while giving her dolls may have some temporary effect, all it does is postpone the inevitable collapse. 
Director Haibara is desperately searching for some way to help her, but he's already tried so many things. At this point, doing anything more might only cause her pain. So that must be what the spooky dolls are. Uh, Apollo says, you got lunch with a rad dude. Yeah, we got lunch with Apollo. It was fun. It was a good time. Person from the photo must be in this room. I'm going to bet on that. Yeah, she did lead us directly here. Spooky. Episode. All right, neat. What am I looking for? There we go. I guess it is easier to just aim the flashlight with the camera. Sakuya's diary. I put myself in the doll so that even if I forget myself, the me and the doll will tell me who I am. That was how I held on to myself. But today I asked it, what is my name? I asked and I asked, but there was no answer. Without the me inside the doll, the little ones inside me get upset. They eat my insides, then they sleep. The starving little ones, I can hear them waking up. My soul broken, I am descending. Sounds like Baroque. <laughs> the little ones. Uh, one of the things about this, and this is just something that kind of occurred to me just now, is that the the weird camel caps here, um, with it like alternating lowercase and uppercase, is probably because there are parts of this that are written in like katakana. So it's like she's like forgetting how to write properly and is using the wrong versions in Japanese. That's my guess. Saki's diary too. I don't want you to know the pain of those who have the souls enter into them, whose sounds are consumed. You're just like me. Don't end up like me, Misaki. A world without noise. Blah blah blah. I offer my song to you. Tsukiga. Tsukiga just wiggle, wiggle the viewfinder around. Doesn't seem like there's anything right there. Let's grab this first. Actually, let's not grab that. Grab the thing on the windowsill. Yep. Misaki's diary. Nikicho. They tell me I can't see her anymore, but it feels so nice to be together with her. Feeling myself break apart is nice too, but this is different. When our two sounds play together, it feels good and I don't feel sick. They said soon I won't be able to see her anymore. I don't think I can stand it if I can't see her anymore. I won't know who I am, but Mia says that I'm still me. I feel safe because Mia is here. Mia is my special friend who stays with me. Mi means the sea, like in Misaki. Ya means the night, like in Sakuya. The two of us will always be together. Engraved wood tile. Okay, and that's intriguing. Oh, okay. What the? Ah! Ben says, Toaster's returned from the dead. Hooray! Indeed! Hello! We have been, uh... We've been very busy at... Furry conventions and the like. It's been a good time. I hate the controls on this so much. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. What am I trying to do here? I'm gonna be connected. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, so the blue is probably the bottom layer. The red is the middle layer. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that one up there is correct. Oh, you know what? Yeah, actually, I see it. I'm dumb. I see the painting directly on the right side. Uh -huh. And the crazy thing about this is that this is not like a simple sliding puzzle because we're not controlling one specific tile. I have to like think about what direction is open on the D-pad and then press the buttons that way. And it is very annoying. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to be the top right. So that is in the location it is supposed to be in. So there's that. This is making my brain hurt. flex muscles I don't normally have to flex all right I think I have them all generally in the right area that they need to be in it should be there um, there we go So those are all in the right spot. That's in the right spot. I just need to flip these two. Oh no, and then the ones on the bottom right. All right, I gotta do this. gotta be right there there we go we did it yay ah we did it I'm so happy all right that could have been like 45 minutes of the stream and it would have been awful <laughs> Ben says, unfortunately, the one game I wanted for my PS2 was Silent Hill 2, which is crazy expensive. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 is very, very expensive. When was the last time I heard it? The gentle sound of my own song. The human soul is nothing but sound, but there are so many sounds reverberating, I can't hear. The end of days is near. I can feel it. I'm glad my song came back, even if just for an instant. Father, uh, I don't know. That's probably Sayo, Ayako, goodbye. Not sure. Or maybe Haibara Yo. Isn't his name Yo? Yo Haibara? 
Could be wrong about that. Ah, Blue's here. Hey, Blue. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I can't believe we solved that puzzle in, like, a timely fashion. Why won't it let me use my run button? Yeah, I have to go underground. I, I figured as much. Remember. Ookie. This looks like a moment in Moonlight Syndrome. Oh, I guess I'm up here now. Sukiga. No, don't. You have so much to live for. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look around with our camera. See if we can get any items to show up. There we go. Ben says, I'm going to trade the PS2 back for an original Xbox because the Xbox copy is 50 bucks. Yeah, the Xbox copy of, of Silent Hill 2 is okay. Honestly, the, the best way to play the game nowadays is just on PC with the uh, Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition community patch. And that's very easy to set up. I'm sorry, I have to go on ahead of you. It's because of me, my body, this body that is so easily inhabited, I've caused everyone so much pain. When things take over me, and I hurt everyone, I wake up and I don't even remember what I've done. I can't bear that pain anymore. I was able to stand it until now, because you were there for me. But now I have Moonlight Syndrome, and the only things that can save me, my memories shared with you, are shaken. I no longer have any way to bear the pain accumulated in my memory. I would be so happy if the sickness would wipe. Only the painful memories from my mind. I feel sorry for Sakuya. She's just like me. My heart aches when I think that she might suffer as I have. Shigeto, you have to take care of her. The moon's getting brighter. Shigeto, Sakuya, yo, I'm so sorry. I offer myself up to be guided by the moonlight. I... Ben says, I wonder why the PS2 copy of Silent Hill 2 is so expensive. Uh, supply and demand. Um, regular, non-greatest hits copies are always just worth more than others. And uh, it's just the it was for a very long time the best way to play the game because the ports were not very good. Um, the the my Xbox one was okay. It just wasn't as good as the the PS2 version. Um, but yeah, just people want it. Oh, okay, perfect. We have this. Wait, did this just, like, literally teleport us to where it wanted us to go? <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Game's got a railroading issue. All right, Blue Spirit Stone. Uh, the port is basically the same. Uh, it's just like lower quality assets. The shadows don't look as good, like stuff like that. Digital Foundry has a really great breakdown um, of all the differences between the ports. I think the music quality is also slightly less. There are some more audio issues, um, but it plays kind of similarly to the, the original Windows PC port, which was not very good. Um, but you get additions. You can play Restless Dreams, which is, uh, is that what it's called? No, Born from a Dream. Born, born from a dream, born from a wish. Uh, Maria's campaign, which is kind of cool. It's not a bad way to play the game by any stretch. So these are dolls that uh, Sakuya had like inhabited, I guess, or like put her spirit in or something. They're her horcruxes. Alright. Uh, let's see. Found a notebook under the bed. Was this written by a patient? 
Something happened yesterday. As I lay gasping from the agony of the swarm of black insects crawling around inside my body, I noticed the moon. I reached out to touch that gentle light piercing the darkness, and then I realized. I was standing on the roof about to climb over the railings. One more step and I would have plummeted to my death, but somehow I wasn't scared when I realized this. If you ask me, anything goes on nights when the moon is full. Killing a loved one, choosing to end one's own life, all is forgiven under the light of the moon, and all is forgotten in the light of the morning. That's what I think. I mean, <laughs> you're wrong, and also deeply mentally ill, but I mean, hey, I guess if that's your opinion, bro. That's why I don't want to go out on nights when the moon is full. Well, yeah, I mean, if you think that you can murder people like the purge on a full moon night, you probably shouldn't go outside. Next time I do, I won't wake up as I follow the moonlight. I'll want to jump into the moon reflected on the surface of the ocean or reach out from the rooftops to touch it. I already know of three patients who have flung themselves off the roof when the moon was full. I wonder if I'll end up following them. <laughs> Kettle says they commit murder. <laughs> it was a full moon. I'm exempt. It's the purge. The one day of the year I'm allowed to commit murder for fun. As opposed to for, you know, work. Oh. Oh. I almost missed taking a picture of that because I took a sip of my drink. All right. I like Misaki's sections because so far they've been just very exploration heavy. Records tell of the visit to Rogetsu Isle at the turn of the century by one Professor Kunihiko Aso. He invented various devices for communicating with the dead, but their efficacy was never proven, and in modern times the theories are treated as pseudoscience. Reading his writings, I found that many of his thoughts were about the masks on this island. Some of his ideas are fragmented and erratic, but many are also bold and exciting. According to the professor, the masks of Rogetsu Isle are designed to affect the mind of the wearer. Humans are easily influenced in this way, like when one sees someone laughing and feels like laughing oneself. Professor Asso's term for this is emotional transference. It's Isn't that just mirror neurons? Like, uh, sympathetic mirroring? Isn't that what it's called? Something like that? He postulates that masks refine this process, controlling the emotions of those who see them. Just as the moon represents the inner, masks represent singular states of mind. Those are not related. The way that that sentence is set up would make it seem like it says masks. Masks represent the outer. <laughs> the professor describes his experience of seeing a girl who, despite never having so much as lifted a flute before, played a tune on one immediately after putting on a mask. His theory is that masks either stimulate specific parts of the unconscious mind or that they behave as a type of medium for memories. The idea of masks as a medium for conveying memories is certainly intriguing. The professor further proposes that masks allow experiences to be shared in a way similar to modern wireless communication. Wi-Fi. Mask-based Wi-Fi. The professor further proposes that masks allow experiences to be shared, blah, blah, blah. He loses me when he starts talking about how the ultimate shared experience is death. But the rest is his theory. Uh, the rest of his theory is most illuminating. That's where he loses you? It's like when he goes full cult crazy? The professor also used the arts and materials of mask making on Rogat's Isle to create his camera obscura in the film it uses. The camera is in the Asso Museum. I would very much like to have a look at it and see if it truly holds such powers as are ascribed to it in this document. Lady. Bruh. Can I not take a picture of you? <laughs> this is a very janky effect. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We knew that was gonna happen. Turn around, Hisaki, what are you doing? Ah! Nice. Decent damage. See, this is why we like Misaki. She's got she's got the good points. Dude. Alright. 
I don't even remember what this camera lens does. The extra lens that we have. Comboed him to death. Oh no. Instant death attack. Alright, we did it. Alright, where were we going? <laughs> Completely lost track of what we were doing here. Cabinet is full of bandages, scissors, and tweezers. We already got that one. Oh, I guess we were just leaving. Okay. That's fine. Ben says, the Wi-Fi is awful, where's my mask? <laughs> exactly. That's the mindset this game wants you to be in. Real magical thinking. Alright, nothing over here. Get out of my way, ghosty. Mandalorian Season 3 just ended. Uh, that was super good. I had a really good time with that finale. I just wanted to say that, put that on record. Season finale was great. Um, and boy, Yellow Jackets for five episodes into Season 2, and it's awesome. Great show, worth watching. Ben says, what are some good point-and-click horror games? Um, I don't really if there are too many great horror point and click games some people will say stuff like the cat lady i was not a huge fan of the cat lady um i know some people like the other games by that studio burn house lane and, and downfall um i don't think i played any of the others i think i only played the cat lady um what else is there garage garage is pretty cool apparently haven't played that one, but I, I know people like it a lot. Uh, if you count them as horror, I mean, they're horror comedies, but if you count them as horror, Maniac Mansion and uh, Day of the Tentacle, great. <laughs> Ben's opinion on Franbo? Uh, no strong feelings. <laughs> no, nothing really nothing really sticks out to me uh, with, with Frambo. Is this the way the director went? Am I am I losing my mind? Apollo said, saw some Star Wars Rebel Rebels, came away thinking Ezra's a little shit. Why are you watching Rebels and not Clone Wars? I mean Rebels is Rebels gets pretty good, but it ain't no Clone Wars, buddy. You gotta watch Clone Wars. Oh, Apollo says Harvester is horror point and click. Yeah, Harvester and Dark Seed. But those are like Your meme games enemy. that are like remembered for being like terrible. <laughs> so they're not actually very good. Uh, I played Tormentum Dark Sorrow back in the day, and that game was not very good either. Um, but that was a horror based point and click game. Aso Misaki, female, age 7, room 310, waiting moon. Patient's moonlight syndrome has shown some signs of improvement, but treatment has been more difficult than anticipated due to the added factor of her high spiritual potential. Hers is a severe case. Based on similar cases, such as the isolation room patient, there's no way to halt the deterioration. Clarification of her treatment plan is urgently required. Spooky ghost. Eye looking in the window. Cool. Okay, so we can't move this yet. Gotta go use the phone. I guess technically, you know, I haven't played it yet, but I'm gonna play it on stream soon. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened is a horror adventure game that is technically point and click, so. All right. 
I got ghosted. Weird head trauma. Oh, ow, why does it keep? Ah. Why? Why does it keep turning off the viewfinder when I press the button? <laughs> Ben says horror not really about Harvester? I think Harvester is a horror game. I mean, it's not a good one. It's a really bad one, but it is definitely meant to be a horror game. Oh, I have to do all of this over again. All right, wasn't too far away. I think we just have to do that one double ghost fight again, and then we should be good. Yeah. This is not the doctor, so we go in here and we're we're tricked into doing a ghost fight when we probably could just run away. Ben says, "If your opinion of horror is an awful B movie gore flick, I mean, yeah, I think it's awful and not very good." But I do think that that does qualify as horror. It's just bad horror. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, got that lady there, and I'll come over here, and they'll attack. We can just beat them up. What the? Get off of me. Probably good that I can, uh... When did the connection between gore and horror happen? Always. It has literally always been this way. <laughs> It doesn't make good horror to just go for shock stuff, but a lot of people are afraid of it, and because a lot of people only think the good requirement for like horror media is being scared, gore works for a lot of people. I don't think that that's like what makes good horror, but it is a thing. But yeah, Har Harvester's terrible, don't get me wrong, from what I remember of it, but it still technically is horror, it's just really bad. I would say it is about as horror as this game is. And about the same quality, too. Oh, God. He went Super Saiyan. Still alive, we got one more shot left. I think he's probably gonna try to do his instant kill on me. Nope. There we go. <laughs> So we managed to get back to where we were. We didn't have to waste too much time. So all things considered, it wasn't the worst possible spot to die. Kochida. Kochida. I'm 
But yeah, as I was saying, Mandalorian season three finale was great. I think uh, this season will stand up very well to binging. I know a lot of people uh, struggled with it episodically because they were all very short episodes this season in comparison to, to older seasons, but I think... I think this season will hold up to a binge really well. It's very, very cinematic, especially by the time you get to the finale. I think, I think it will will hold up. And the the ending of the season is just really excellent, really great stuff. But yeah, now now all I have now all I have right now is uh, five more episodes of Yellow Jackets this season. And uh, shoot, which way do I go? This way, I think. Five more episodes of Yellow Jackets and seven more seven more episodes of Marvelous Miss Maisel, I think. Oh. Then I gotta wait. Then I gotta wait for Ahsoka before I'm watching anything else. But Yellow Jackets is uh is holding up the the horror aspect of my TV viewing lately, and it is just supreme. Things are escalating, too. So, I hope we get, you know, a few more seasons of that show. We wrap everything up well. That'd be great. For those watching in the future who know exactly if uh, Yellow Jackets eventually gets canceled, well, you can laugh from your, your, from your position of authority in time. I don't think it'll get canceled. I think it's doing really well. It's like Showtime's premiere show right now. Didn't notice those there before, so. Did I get this ghost? Okay, I have to do it again. That's fine. Spooky. says hello hello Gwen welcome to the stream attack me ah see I do not know what's up with that every single time I I take I it just it uncameras me <laughs> Oh god, and she has a lot of HP too. Fighting her is gonna be a pain. I just need to not go for fatal frames, but. There we go. Alright. Should be only. Eh, we're gonna type 61. Or we're gonna shotgun. Shotgun film her, because I don't feel like putting up with her fighting. There we go. Oh, that was a waste. Oops. Yeah, right, we got one more. One more relatively decent fatal frame. There we go. We did it. Interact? I can. Perfect. I mean, nuance is a good thing, right? Talking about shiver. Things should have nuance. 
One week has passed since the failure of the rite of descent. By avoiding external stimuli and bathing them in the moonlight of moonlight glow well, the condition of the organs has been stabilized. However, Misaki is still hanging on by a thread. Her condition might suddenly deteriorate for any number of reasons. She could die from shock brought on by mental trauma or, in the worst case scenario, even blossom. There's no predicting what might do it. Sound smells, words, and phases of the moon. There's so much we don't understand. But the probability remains high that remembering events leading up to and including the right of descent will be what pushes her over the edge. Addendum. While observing her, she has repeatedly raised her hand to my face and stroked it. It appears she has not entirely lost her memory. Bask says, what's up, you amazing furries? Hey, Bask. Welcome. I would say about, yeah, 90, 99% of the people who watch my content are furries, so he's not wrong, statistically speaking. Most of my viewers are amazing furries. Oh, let's see. Uh, camera obscura. Lenses. What lenses do I even have? Grabbed. Oh, automatically. Picks up the nearest ghost. More powerful shot. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, zero. Actually, yeah, this is what I want. I don't really care about the grab lens. <laughs> Furries and Ben. <laughs> All right. Uh, examine. Passage completely blocked. We got to meet up with uh with, I guess one other viewer. At LVFC, someone came up to Keith and was like, "I love your content," but I didn't get their name. I wasn't with them when it happened. Uh, it happened when Keith was walking. Keith and Stephanie were walking over to my room. So, one of these days, if the person watches the video, feel free to comment and say it was you. Even if it wasn't you, feel free to comment and say it was you. I won't know the difference. Alright, nothing in here. <laughs> Kettle says, I'm a furry. <laughs> yes, Kettle. We know. <laughs> Gwen says it was me. Well, thanks so much for coming such a long way, Gwen. Attack me. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lot of them. It's a lot of ghosts. And I have to take them out. Take out your camera, girl. Uh, ben asks, does my model have glasses? Nope, just whiskers. Callus says, what are the species here in chat if Toaster allows me to ask? Feel free to ask, man. I don't think that's a bad thing. <laughs> I am a raccoon. I'm an eastern raccoon. I'm doing crazy damage, actually. And this is not as bad as I thought it would be. Come on, attack me, lady. Come at me. Man, she's got a ton of health. There we go. Callus says, I am a dog. Gwen says I'm a fox. Ben says where I'm from, raccoon is roadkill. Yeah, I mean, same. <laughs> we are trash animals for a reason. Ah, that was not very cool that it wasted that. 
go back to type 14 and just try to preserve some of some of the stronger ammo that we have. I guess Misaki doesn't have any type 0 film, or not type 0, um, type 91. I think I picked some up uh, with Ruka earlier. Callus, I don't think I've ever seen your here for Sona. Every time, every time I close the menu. Is there nothing here? What the, what the heck? Is this not where I was supposed to go? Huh. Not super clear. trying to figure out let's see did I miss something oh you know what I probably need to go to the I probably need to go to the elevator because that's where Ooh, and there's a goodie over here for me legend of the moon glow well those who undergo the training of the primeval passage being such a deep cavern as befits its name by the moon glow well whilst those spirit return to their body such training doth cause that they lose both themselves in the shape of their souls thus some remain void failing to have their souls return they should return to this world whilst thusly void they may blossom. Only light of moon canst guide back their spirits. Thus bringest thou such bodies to the moon glow well. Being that a place where the light of the moon is kept, and therein canst thou find the spirits. Those who, becoming void, lose themselves must bathe in the moon's light in the moon glow well. Thus done, thou lost, they may be recovered. So this must be Mia, who I assume is an imaginary friend and not actually a real person. Either that or this is what Sakia looked like, but I don't think it is Sakia. Oh, wow. <laughs> the chapter did not, in fact, end where I thought it would. <laughs> Ben says, I'm generally curious, what is the history of furries? What started it? Um, the furry fandom uh, has a history throughout all of human culture, at least in terms of like anthropomorphizing animals and stuff. But um, the modern furry fandom, as one thinks of it in terms of like going to conventions and fursuiting and drawing comics and stuff, uh, that started in the very early 70s as a spinoff of a Star Trek convention or a general sci-fi nerd convention um, by two gay dudes um, and their friends. And they spun off and started doing uh, costuming and, and comic design and tabletop role-playing uh, involving their anthropomorphic characters. Obviously stuff like Disney and, and uh, Tezuka and other uh, like animation houses had been doing anthropomorphic characters for a long time. 
But uh, yeah, started back in the 70s in like comics, zines, conventions, costume circles, and tabletop role playing. And it has grown ever since because it's mostly fun. Fun self expression. Basque just said basically the same thing. <laughs> I didn't even notice. There's a great documentary about it called The Fandom. It's on YouTube. It's about an hour and a half long. Highly recommended watching. Uploaded by Ash Coyote, I think. I don't know much about the people who made it, but, um, I mean, other than the fact that they're, like, furries, but... It's a good documentary. Very honest look at the fandom and its origins, which are pretty cool. Wowzers, her face just straight up exploded. saying that she is immune and I have to take a picture of the doll. Oh no, instant death. I knew that that would happen. I just wanted to make sure. Oh God, am I going to have to do the really, no, I'm not. I'm not going to have to do the really long fight because I ran back after it. We're good. Would you like to load this save data? Yes, I would love to. Narik says hello. Hello, Narik. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. It's nice to be back. Ben says, I'm into punk, like hardcore punk. That's sick. I have been to quite a few punk shows in my life. That's that's more of what Keith is into. Though he's more into like the folk punky stuff than I am, but Ooh. save herself some time. Right. I can catch up, I just have to use the camera tracker to do that. So move faster this way. There we go. Girl walks so slow. I feel like you could speed up every single character's animations like 50% and it would not make a difference and they would still be slow, but they would be tolerably, tolerably faster, which would be nice. All right, I think I just got to kill this ghost, which is fine. We can make it happen. Ben says, I'm a metalhead. Oh, that's sick. Uh, there was a metal furry band playing at LVFC. It was kind of neat. Oh, she doesn't have too much health. We'll, we'll shotgun film her. to film. Oh, what a way. 
Christ. Oh, Baskus is here. Hey, Baskus, welcome. I've heard of Fatal Frame, and I knew it was camera-related, but I knew nothing more besides that. Yeah, it's a game where you take pictures of ghosts, and that's how you fight them. Says, I've watched Toaster play like eight Fatal Frame games and I still don't know what's going on. To be fair, neither do I. <laughs> this, this series is a little bit lost in thread. <laughs> Alright, we killed her. Exercised her, forgive me. No murder happened here. Alright, so I was right, that is Mia, her doll. Kind of a really late game development here. <laughs> Do any of the FF games have a somewhat cohesive narrative? Uh, two and three do. I mean, one has a cohesive narrative, it's just kind of shallow. Well, that's neat. She found her dolly. No, don't get hugged by her. That's her killer instant death attack. <laughs> 